Here we have an early look at Samsung's new robotic vacuum cleaner, the Navibot. It's not out until April, but we've had it into our studio to take a look and see how it does. Samsung claimed this is the most innovative robotic vac on the market. It uses a new visionary mapping system. Um, it has a built-in camera on the top, so it actually takes a photo of the ceiling and navigates its way around the room. So basically it knows where it's been and doesn't clean the same ground twice. That's unlike other robotic vacuum cleaners we've seen, which tend to erratically bounce around the room, so they cover lots of the same ground twice. This Navibot comes with three settings. Automatic means it will go from room to room cleaning as it goes. When the battery gets low, it takes itself back to its recharging point, recharges and finds its way back to the last place it had cleaned. The max setting means it will continue to clean until the battery has run out. And the third setting on it is the spot clean. So if you have a particularly dirty area, you can set it down, put it to spot clean and it will clean a small area quite intensely. Um, what this vac doesn't have, and what we've seen other robotic vacs, which is a really useful feature, is it, that it has a scheduler, which basically means you can set it um, to run Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and clean while you're out at the same time every day. This vac doesn't come with that, and that's a real disappointment. The other things you get with this vac are two smart gates, which act like a fence, so you can protect delicate furniture or areas you don't want the vac to venture into and it also comes with a remote control so if you want to sit on the sofa and direct it around your living room yourself you can do that. We were really excited when Samsung said they were releasing this robotic vac because we haven't seen one from a major manufacturer in quite some time. Although we haven't lab tested this we were a bit disappointed when we tried it out in the office. Um, it picks up bigger bits of fluff and dirt, um, but it does leave behind the smaller bits of dirt and it doesn't get in amongst the pile on the carpet too well. So we think you'll still need your regular vac. It's not available until mid-April if you're keen to get your hands on it, but it will cost 450 quid, which is quite a lot considering you're gonna to have to have your regular vac as well. So in the meantime, for all the reviews of Robotic facts, cylinders and uprights, go to witch.co.uk.